Okay, so this is take two. Hello everybody, Xenon Extra 76 for a vlog, a blog, whatever the hell you want to call it. I just want to point out this point in my life where I encountered my first flood. I don't like calling it that because it's not like I'm ankle deep in water, but in this very room, specifically only this room because it's a basement part of the house, like it's a downstairs in the ground, um... I'm in the foundation of the house in this room here. We have encountered a water leak somewhere, and it's caused this specific room only, the one that's, in my opinion, the most used room in the whole house because I have no life other than work, and I sit here and do stuff on my computer. So this is the chosen room that has been blessed with water leaking into the carpet. Again, it's not like it's ankle deep in water. It's, in, in fact, the problem still isn't fixed as... The, uh, as of the recording in this video, we're still trying to figure things out, diagnose it. I have my own guess, my educated guess, and I've been doing my best to assess the situation based on my educated guess, which I'll talk about in a second. But it's not like it's a couple inches of water or anything. Heck, it doesn't even go to the soles of my shoes. It just it's just soaked the soak the carpet is soaked. But the weird thing is not the whole room is soaked. It's specifically a pathway in this room, and I'd like to show you on the floor here, and it's not, I'm not going to bother to, because you can't really see with the wet spots, and I've been doing my best to treat it off and on all day today, but pretty much from the wall on this side of my monitor, in an arcing motion, literally like the highest traffic, because you know how I walk through that door, I walk to this seat and plop down, literally it creates a pathway from here to there, of it being wet, and it's quite funny to me because I feel like that means that's where the, re the recess, like the room recesses the most, where the water can you know how water follows gravity so it's going to seep into the ca concave stuff, you know valleys are filled with water because that's literally the lowest point water can seep into so it literally seeped into a trail of the highest traffic in this room which is pretty funny but it's been a pain in the ass to maintain because it started out with just a little spot right here right where my feet were and at the time I had a bowl of water because I was um de-dusting a couple things in my room and I woke up to water on the floor where my socks were soaked when I stood here for more than a few minutes and I thought maybe our cat knocked over the bowl because the bowl had less water so I got mad at him for knocking over the bowl of water and that was the end of the conclusion well next you know fast forward next week you know it, it, drew, it dried up and then fast forward next week more water way more it like I could feel like not literally a puddle but you could hear the splash sound if you tapped your foot in that spot and I was getting mad because I'm like okay now it's a leak where the hell is this this is making me mad this is pissing me off well going back like I said with my first diagnosis my first diagnosis is this room outside there's a window right here that goes outside you know you go around to my backyard this faces the backyard the way I'm pointing there's a hose faucet right there that controls our automatic sprinklers there it's just a rudimental uh, mentor you screw it onto the hose port and then you set the settings when you want the hose to turn on well I had the smart idea a few weeks ago to take out one of the two hoses and set that one to only turn on once a week for a minute because I didn't know how to turn it off and I didn't want to take off the two hose one to buy a one hose one from Home Depot for like $30 because I'm cheap so I thought okay that won't hurt anything this is the reason why I assume this causes problem because that would turn on the other sprinkler and then that one every week would spew water out next to the foundation for a minute and apparently that's enough water to seep down into the soil all the way down. This is like 10 feet, mind you. Past the foundation and start re-emerging in the one spot water can pop up. Apparently it went through this concrete foundation under the, the house and it started seeping up into the carpet. That's my guess. Now, I've done my best to turn off the sprinkler completely. I... At first, I didn't do that. I only turned off one of the hoses because I then, after messing with it for long enough, had figured out the ability to just turn on one hose. So I did that, and then I went to bed. You know, I tried drying it up a little bit. I, I noticed it got worse before I went to bed, but I was tired. I need to go to bed, you know. And then I come back the next day, and it's worse because, again, 
when I first discovered this, it was just this little spot here. I went to bed and woke up the next day, and it spread almost to the freaking hallway over there. So, I wanted to get this done ASAP. We contacted our landlord. We're going to get this problem professionally diagnosed by a technician or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to assume it's a plumber. Because obviously there's damage. There's going to be carpet wear, and there is spots on the wall where their water is leaking. So... I assume with my diagnosis, that's the cause of the problem because it's not happening anywhere else in the house. We do have another hose in the front yard that goes past this room, the other side of this wall, past that room into the front yard. That's not doing anything. That's also a one hose um, automatic sprinkler system. So that isn't an issue. And as far as we know, we're going to have to keep this hose off until they fix it because... Even with the knob turned all the way on and the sprinkler system forcing it to be off, I don't know if that can cause a problem where the internal pipes can build up pressure and leak or burst. I, that's being exaggerative to me, but burst and I am getting... This wall over here is getting the damage of leaking because that's probably where the pipe is and seeping into this room. So... I have a feeling they're going to ex say exactly what I thought it is because this is the only logical thing that I feel like could happen. You know, you never know if it could be the bathroom over here having underground pipes, even though I don't think they do because they actually go above us. Believe it or not, we have a pump for that. Um, that's a possibility. There could have been a third-person sewer system thing going on where it leaks just specifically where I am. It's highly unlikely, but that's what I... Th that My first guess, my guess, is what I think is happening, and whenever the technician comes in, he's probably going to cut a hole in the wall and say, yep, up, oh, there's a leak. We're going to have to fix that, and we're going to have to tear this wall apart and put a new wall in because there's water damage, and if the carpet's too damaged, we might have to replace carpet, which means I am going to have to leave this room, take apart all the furniture, probably can leave the wall stuff on the other walls, just not this one, they're going to have to rip out the carpet, put new carpet in, and redo this wall so it doesn't have water damage. Now, personally, I think I saved it as much as I could. Minimize the damage as much as I could, because it's not like it actually flooded a few inches or anything. It's not all of the carpet, and it doesn't look too bad. It smells kind of bad, because it's been seeping in with the dirty carpet for a while. You know, for a day and a half. I do a fan's trying to circulate air to keep it dry and ever since I turned that off hopefully this will stay dry after that and we can assess the situation hopefully those pipes aren't constantly leaking even with it turned off and we can get this dry and I can finally move on from this stupid thing because I'm not gonna lie I'm addicted to this computer and me trying to fix this all day I wasn't on my computer for probably 10 of the 12 hours I've been up today like, I've been playing Battlefield probably... I've been up for 14 hours, so... I finally turned it on once we I got food, because I was so freaking hungry trying to fix this problem. The only way I've been able to fix it, because we don't have a shampooer, we have this really tiny one meant for cleaning up pet messes, which I've been using, but I ran out of charge. But I've been doing, um... Towels. Lots and lots of towels. And I always put it on there and wait till they're soaked to the teeth. And then put them back in the dryer and dry them for a few cycles, and then bring them back out and do it again. So I've been doing that off and on. And this has been uh, very interesting, and we'll see how this comes to. But I just find it funny that it's gonna... This happened in the one room that always has me in it, and I'm the one who's home the most, so it's like, gosh dang it. And double gosh dang it, because technically, I think I caused this problem by myself for trying to optimize the sprinkler system there. I can't remember if I told that story earlier in this recording, but... That's my theory. I feel like I caused... This is all self-harm. Now, hopefully it's covered with renter's insurance or their landlord because they said it. They said it flooded before. Before we even rented here, they said they had to put in new carpets when it flooded before. So for all I... For, for all what I know, or everybody who lives here, because my brother and his girlfriend live here too, this happens because whatever problem they fixed happened again. Except we caught it this time, and it only spread to this room. Because when they said it flooded here, it went all of the basement. All of the basement. So, who knows? Who knows? 
probably post a follow up uh follow up whenever uh this gets solved but this is very interesting and yeah just wanted to post it for anybody who wants to hear a guy talk for about 10 minutes and just so I can archive this so in the future I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember in 2021 during the pandemic, blah, 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 I had a flood happen to me. But it's not really a flood, it's just a little bit of leaking. Blah. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this vlog video thing. And uh, honestly, I really wanted to make it for archival purposes and to force me to edit a video because I need, really need it. i talking too fast. I really need to get in the habit of editing videos again constantly, or else I'm never going to make videos again. And I have bigger projects for the main channel, and I have some projects for my FPS channel, but the easiest way to start off is with the extra channel. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Zeno's out of here. I'm probably going to go put more towels on the floor and start using that shampoo or until the battery dies again. See you later.